you have an ice castle, then of course you need an ice fountain to go inside of it. My original thought with this was to make it all out of clear plastic. My first attempt with a propane torch didn't go so well. My second attempt using a soldering iron went better, but the result was still kind of... You know, it looked cheap and kind of fragile, so I decided to make it all out of wood. Surprise, surprise. So I'm using the CNC to cut a piece of 3mm bolt torch plywood. So the basic idea here is each layer has a set of holes that are aligned with the layer underneath it. Then the upper layer gets cut right through the middle of that hole. And that's going to give a place for the toothpicks I'm going to add shortly to register. I made an alignment mark on each piece so I could line them up during assembly. And because I left an onion skin on the parts, I need to file all those half holes on the edges. I'm making the central column on the lathe because I want a nice taper to it. I'm not doing anything too fancy here, I'm just going to use my parting tool where each layer is going to be. And then I finish those cuts, the handsaw, and then sanding. Now I'm drilling holes in the column. Because the column gets narrower as it goes up, I need to use a smaller dowel at the top than at the bottom. Before I do any assembly, I'm doing a little painting on the parts that are going to be inside the toothpicks because it's going to be hard to get paint inside of here later. I'm doing my best not to get any paint in the holes that would interfere with the glue. To prepare my toothpicks, first I'm nipping off the very end of it on both ends. And what I want is just enough of that taper so that it's going to fit snugly inside of the 1 16th inch hole. If I take off too much, it's going to be too difficult to get the toothpick in the hole. If I don't take enough, it's not going to register in there tightly. Then I cut them a little bit long to start with, and it's easy to cut several at a time with the nippers. Now I didn't glue the next layer on the top originally, and, and I did that because I want to use one of the toothpicks to get that alignment perfect before I glue that on. I just tweak the alignment until that toothpick is perfectly straight. My strategy was to get a few of them spread out around the circumference, enough so that I could get a rubber band on there. I used a block of wood to push the toothpick firmly into the hole. And then I just filled in in between them. And then once the glue dried, I could sand the toothpicks flush with the upper disc. I'm also putting a little bit of a chamfer on the edges after sanding them flush. And then it was just a matter of working my way up through the same process through each tier. And you have to accept the fact that you're going to discover some of these are going to end up being loose and you have to glue them back on. To cap it off at the top where the water would have been splashing up, I'm just rounding over the end of a quarter inch dowel by chucking it into my drill and then running it against the belt sander. I think I spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to align those six pieces perfectly. And then a taller one goes in the middle. Then after finishing the white acrylic base coat, I sprayed it with a white hammered texture spray paint. This stuff does not cover very well, so the base coat is important, but it gives it a really sort of a translucent glossy effect, which really makes it look like ice. 
I don't expect too many people to run out and make these, but I hope it gives you some ideas for techniques that you can use in other projects. Thanks for watching.